This is the Doma TV News Roundup. I am Mayowa Adesunloye. The Benue Rebirth Movement, a socio-economic and quasi-political organization, on Thursday honored the pioneer vice-chancellor of the Federal University of Health Sciences, Otuko, Professor Innocent Uja. The organization also honored some illustrious sons of Benue South for their roles in bringing the tertiary institution to Idoma land. According to the national coordinator of the group, Herr Vice Marshal Monde Morgan Riku retired. Professor Uja and other prominent Benue South natives were selected for the honor for their role in one way or the other in the realization of the establishment of the school. Our correspondent, Dennis Idoko, was there. The national coordinator of the group, AVM Monde Morgan Riku, retired said the event was put together to cement and honor hard work and industry among Benue South people and to raise needed funds for special developmental projects in the zone. He said BRM is a child of necessity formed to promote unity, peace, socio-political growth and development of Benue State. In the annals of the life of a people, unity and honor are key parameters for societal growth and development. This is because it engenders understanding, togetherness, forgiveness, synergy, and compatibility that are prerequisite for human growth and development. Some prominent personalities of Benin State and near Benin South have been honored for their exceptional and exemplary leadership, traits, and qualities. The import of this is that we as a people are organized enough to recognize industry among us and also use it as a bridge to cement and encourage hard work and unity. Also speaking at the event, the Deputy Governor of Benue State, Engineer Bersin Nabonu, called for support for Benue Rebirth Movement, BRM, and its objectives of midwifing the election of a person of Idoma extraction as the Governor of Benue State in 2023. I hope that we, as we gather here today, we are going to do the needful. And the needful, of course, is to put BRM on a sound pedestal in such a way that they can realize their dream of having an Idoma governor. <laughs> having an Idoma governor come 2020. On his part, Eda Stasman and former permanent secretary, Ministry of Defense, Chief Mike Okibe, who was the chief launcher, praised the idea behind BRM and called on all hands to be on deck to realize the idea of a Benue governor of Zone C extraction in 2023. If we all work together, even if we don't make it, and I pray and the normal man will make it this time. At least you should have made your point and it will be documented. The chief celebrant, Professor Uja, who is the president, Nigerian Medical Association, NME, thanked the BRM for the honor done him and called for support from the people to make the Federal University of Health Sciences or to go a first class institution. I'm really, really grateful. If I say I'm grateful, it's an understatement. I believe that we need the support of Nigerians because it's not a German university, it's a Federal University of Health Sciences. We need the support of all Nigerians, particularly the people close to the venue, I mean to the site, the campus, the temporary site. Among the dignitaries that attended the event were Chief Steve Lawani, General Chris Garba, AVM Tony Adoko, Professor John Hidoko, Dr. Isaac Iboja, Chief Mike Kasi Awondoka, Honorable David Lohemba, Honorable Dr. Sam Ode, Chief Sylvester Ame, Engineer Agaba Ikwe, Engineer Morgan Nikoche, Professor Yakubu Ochefu, Barrister Harris Subole, members of the National and the State Assembly, top politicians and many others. From Abuja, I am Denis Sidoko, reporting for Edoma TV. The senator representing Benue South Senatorial District has warned Ebony State Governor 
Dave Umahi over his comments on the lingering EZA FM crisis. Idoma TV reports that the crisis, which started as a result of leadership struggle for the control of a motor park in Ebony State, spilled into other local government area because of the presence of natives of EZA and FM in the land of Ado. The development has claimed many lives and properties worth millions of naira. On the 13th of April 2021, Nigerians woke up to the news of the sad attack on Umbo communities of Ebony State that led to loss of several lives and destruction of properties. However, shortly after the mindless attack, Governor Umahi rose from a security meeting with his council and openly claimed that the attack on his people was carried out by the Aguila people of other local governments. According to him, the Aguila people hired Etsman machineries for the dastardly act. Reacting to a joint press conference with Senator Sam Ego, Comrade Moro described the allegation by the governor as very unfortunate and highly uncharitable. On the exam, a film crisis, which started in the film community in the Boyne State and spilled over into other local government in Benue State because of the presence of reserves and reformats in other local government area, it is regrettable that the crisis is yet to be contained, leading to the relocation of some FM and reserve people to neighboring communities, both in Ohaoku, local government of Ebony State, and other local government of Benue State. Meanwhile, the chairman of other local government area, James Oche, has hailed Senator Abba Moro for countlessly proving himself a worthy representative of the people of Benue South. Oche expressed gratitude to the senator for presenting to the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria the security concerns that have engrossed his domain and the petition he had written against the Ebony State government. Idoma TV reports that the EZA FPM crisis within other local governments have led to loss of lives and properties worth hundreds of millions. Senator Moro had presented before the Senate a petition written by James Oche calling on the House to look critically into the concerns raised by the chairman at the plenary during the week. Stakeholders in Benue State Thursday at a meeting in Makodi, which was attended by people across party lines, traditional rulers, the clergy, national and state assembly members, as well as past and present leaders, unanimously passed a vote of confidence on Governor Samuel Otom for his untiring efforts to ensure the security of lives and property. The stakeholders said Governor Otom has demonstrated true leadership qualities and has risked his life in the interest of the people. The motion for the vote of confidence on the governor was moved by the leaders of the three main sociocultural organizations in Benue State. The group said they are fully satisfied with the performance of the governor, particularly his firm stand for the protection of our people. Meanwhile, the Benway State Government has approved the establishment of vigilante groups to combat the high rates of insecurity in the state. Governor Samuel Otom disclosed this when he briefed journalists on the outcome of the expanded stakeholders meeting held at the new banquet hall of the Government House. Our correspondent James Agbenu was there and files in this report. Addressing journalists on the resolution of the meeting, Governor Otom said, renewed attacks on the people by arms headmen has outstretched security agencies. He further noted that the state government has decided to enforce the law to provide for the establishment of community volunteer guards known as vigilantes. The governor said the vigilantes will be constituted from the community to local government levels to complement the operations of conventional security agencies across the state. Uh, volunteer guards, otherwise known as vigilante. Uh, it was enacted in the year 2000. So we have looked at the provisions and there are windows there that we can exploit to help us reduce the level of attack on us here in Benway State. 
And so this stakeholders meeting have decided to adopt the volunteer community guards, otherwise known as vigilante, uh, the, uh, enacted in the year 2000, to come in full force. The governor added that the state government has been mandated to support the vigilantes with logistics as provided in the law, adding that the recruitment of personnel should be carried out in the 23 local government areas of the state. From the government house, Makodi, I am James Agbenu, reporting for Idoma TV. Some of the victims of the recent Exme attacks in communities in Gray West local government area of Benue State have been buried in a mass grave. Idoma TV reports that no fewer than 19 persons were killed when suspected Fulani Esme on Monday attacked some communities in Gray West. The victims were buried on Thursday, May 6th, by the chairman of Gray West Local Government Council, Honorable Mrs. Archie Grace Igbagbo, as directed by Governor Samuel Otom. The Batuan mass burial took place at Umba Modu Kindred of Vengave Community, Uda Macro Geopolitical Zone in Gwei West, the ancestral home of the victims. The council boss disclosed that arrangement has been, has been put in place for two and three batch of the mass burial to enable her bury other slain victims in the affected communities in the local government. On the national scene, tribute and condolence messages have continued to pour in for the late pastor Daria Deboe, son of the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboe. Daria Adeboe was said to have died in his sleep on Thursday at age 42 in Eket Akwaibom State. Meanwhile, many Nigerians have been sending condolence messages to the Adeboe family over the sad incident. On his part, President Muhammad Buhari commiserated with Pastor Adeboe and his bereaved family over their loss. Buhari urged Pastor Adeboe to find solace in the scriptures that they received God faithfully. Similarly, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan, Governor Samuel Otom of Benue State, and other prominent Nigerians, in their separate condolence messages, urged the Adeboe family to take solace in the fact that the late cleric lived a purposeful life dedicated to the service of God and mankind. That brings us to the end of News Roundup on Idoma TV. On behalf of the news editor, Ahmed Comrade Godwin, the production head, Chris Johnson, and the entire crew, I am Mayawa Adesinoye. Do have a lovely weekend. <laughs>